Alrighty guys, what's up? It's me, Ryder from Helton's Computer Repair. This is a wonderful Chromebook that has a cracked screen. Pretty bad. I don't know if you can see that. Just look at that system. There it goes, looks good. Yeah, it shattered pretty bad. And that needed to be replaced, so I finally got the replacement part coming in. It's going to be a very simple, it actually doesn't even contain any screws or anything, so it's pretty much, this is pretty much going to pop off real easy. Um, there are some things that you may want to do before doing this. This is not actually 20 bucks. It's actually a cover-up because I don't have some serial tags that's from somewhere else that I don't really want to be able to show them. Technically, I can probably just replace this laptop screen and take off the plastic and swap the screen by itself. But because it's a Chromebook, it likes to power on by itself once you open it. And I don't want to take any chances of that, really. So we're just going to take off the screws and unplug the battery like you're supposed to and turn this one off. The one that we're going to be replacing is pretty much it's a Lenovo 100E Chromebook 2nd Gen and it has she goes into more depth on the specific exactly on there but I don't think we really need that. It's pretty much the same series that you'll see. I'll also give you an awesome cool link where I got this replacement part right here. Uh, I kind of want to hide a little bit of info. They want to see the location but this is an awesome site right here. I bought these replacement laptop screens for more than about maybe like 10 years now. I've never had any problems. If anything comes in place, they'll give me a replacement one like that. Um, pretty much it's an awesome site called laptopscreen.com. So that's where we're gonna be getting that. So for the first thing, we're gonna go ahead and we're pretty much gonna zoom in a little bit more for this, what it seems like for you. And we're pretty much gonna be showing you how to take off this display first. So let me actually zoom in if I can. There we are, a little bit better. Let's go ahead and take off the screws for this. First, okay. I'm using an awesome tool. It's not a sponsor or anything like that. It's just an awesome toolkit from iFixit. I have bought supplies from them so, so many times and always been a good tool with parts. But if you ever have any like screws, not screws, um, tools that we use to take off the screws, they come out bad or cracked or something like that, or little pieces that doesn't want to turn anymore, um, you can get the replacement parts from them. So, very useful stuff like that. So as you notice, I'm pretty much taking off the screws that are holding onto this laptop. Try to be sure it's any other ones. Screws are going to be needed before I do this. Pretty good. This is pretty simple. I think it's only holding nine screws. I don't see any extra ones that are here, so that's a good thing. I would, I would have to kind of hide it before we take it off. Where it has the serial number. Not really a serial, it's from another place on it. But here we are. We took out the screws. You can actually can use some additional tools for this to pop it out, but I actually don't want this to happen. Um, I can probably just be able to pop this off just by hand. Just really lightly. So you see, I kind of just already opened it with my hand. I can probably use one of these tools just to hold tension on it a little bit. Right there. But they are going to pop. pretty much continue popping off. You see it? How's it coming up? You see it right there, right? All right. And you see it's still powered on, and then it's going to constantly pop back up right now. There it goes. It's not starting to pop off. I'm kind of just holding it with my hands. Find a better one. Probably a little bit better. A little tip is a little broken. It's already popping off now. Kind of just doing it now with my hands within this point. It's already popping off like nothing. It does look like there might be a screw somewhere right here. So let me check just to be sure. There is one screw. So let me continue and take off that one for you. It would be right here, hidden one. I just didn't feel it. I guess I just didn't know it was there. Won't hurt nothing. I haven't pushed any tension trying broke it before this came out. So now we're gonna continue popping this off. And then it's coming up right now. Here it is. It's pretty much coming off. Now before you continue doing this, you actually have to go a little bit angle. And you see there's some wires that are holding onto this. So there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and power this off again because it's trying to turn back on. Pretending there's still power right now. But we're going to go ahead and slightly open this up. I don't know how it looks like. 
Yeah, this is looking out. Okay, so we can go back. And here's the pieces. If you hear the train, I'm sorry. It just decided to come up at the same time I'm recording. I'm taking off these connections for right now. Take this off. And here is the battery that's plugged in right now. I'm technically going to just see if we can pop that off. Came off real easy. So now it's powered off and it won't get turned on. Pretty much. Alright, so next we'll be sure it's still focusing on this. There we go. Here's the screen. This is a very simple one that we're going to take off. It doesn't really have anything holding on there. If there is anything holding it, it probably just has some adhesive glue, probably, pretty much. Um, we're going to go from the inside through that. So I already started off with my hand right there. And it's already popping off like nothing. You can use this tool too to pop it off. It's kind of not needed. I'm kind of just doing it by itself with my hand. So there you go. We popped it off like super easy. What it does show is that they do have a cracked display. So you do see that it's cracked right there. You see that? I don't know if you can tell. It's cracked right there. So that's another story that they might need to fix. That's not the main point. I wanted to get this screen replaced. So right now, let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. There we are. Let's see if this thing will focus a little bit better for me. focus okay there we go a little bit better I kind of focus that up by hand I guess so here we are here's the display we're gonna have to take off the screws now they're holding on to here that's holding the display actually no this little dirt that's actually holding the back the screw display is actually just putting on to the side right here on these four screws go ahead and move those you should actually do this and actually I'll plug it in. It's very unusual I would need it. But I'm already working on hardware. I'm actually going to plug in my anti-static. Just in case something decides to get shocked on here. It could be my luck. And pretty much here is the display coming off. Very simple. There is some... Um, you have to be careful on this. We do have the board in the back. It don't take really matter, really. We have it unplugged, so there's not really power. Try not to mess it up. So here's the plastic that's holding it. A little bit of tape. We're just going to slide this back. And then we're going to slide back again. Okay. Let's not get that other tape off. And you see this little has a little plastic metal that's holding onto there? It needs to be popped off. So you can do it by hand. There you go. And then we're going to slide it out. Now the old display is out of here, pretty much. Now I'm gonna get the replacement part that we have here. This is one that came here from, that I bought from laptopscreen.com. I have, again, have bought through them so many times. If you ever do decide to get your parts, it's a guarantee and covers warranty pretty much regardless. It used to be set up for like three years, now it's for all the time if I'm correct. I'm trying to laugh at this, it's coming from a UPS bag, you see this? Um, it got delivered by FedEx. Kind of thing. All right, so here's the replacement screen. It is literally just to verify. We're gonna see if they're the same. They are the same. They look the same. Back's a little different on the model, but they are working. Same connections. So now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this angle a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and pop this back in. Now try not to touch any of these wires or stuff like that. And again. Be sure you do unplug the power, it'll be better off for this because there was power and it was powered on and you plug in these connections right here. It will pretty much probably shock the heck out of it and probably mess up your graphics card or the board itself. This tape is just coming off crazy. There we go. There we go. Go ahead and try and pop this back in place. Alright, there it goes. Started. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull it back. There it is, it's locked in place. I'm gonna put this piece of to pin them back in place, the pin. And there's a tape that's pretty much holding it in place already back. And we're gonna go ahead and put this display back. Come on, don't fall down. There we are. Let it just lay there. I'm gonna put the screws back on there real quick. 
and I would want to automatically power this on here to verify this, but because we're pretty much open on exposed with all this wiring and stuff that's here on the board, I don't want to take that chance of getting shocked on this and messing up the whole board when we only just have to replace the screen. So I actually will test it after and see if everything looks correct. If I need to, I'll reverse the step. But I'm going to close this up before we do close up the screen. There it is. Everything looks good for right now. I'm going to go ahead and connect these parts back. Well, yeah, so I'll do that first. I put this part right here. This is what holds the keyboard. This wire. This wire right here is for the touchpad button that you're going to do, use. So, literally, you have to be very careful how you do this, don't bend, break that. Oops. And now we're going to go ahead and plug in the battery back on. I'll put it back in place too. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back. Not fully all the way, but just to be sure if it powers on. Depending on this, it might need to be. I'm going to go ahead and pop them in place. Be sure it will power on. I look, I'm probably going to have to get a battery for this. Battery, not really the power plug in for this. Let me go ahead and see if I have that real quick. Alright, well, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and check out this display. Put the plastic frame back on there. they pop in correctly popped in place Go ahead and put the screws back on here. Well, the screws are coming in place. I only need one more that's underneath here. I am going to see if I can have a wire that can pick on and power on this laptop with me. I don't know if I have one with me, so I'm going to have to pause for a second to see if we can get this thing powered back on. I'll do a test one more time before I have to put power. Alright, so we've changed the screen. We changed the plugins. Let's see if it'll power on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's not turning on yet. So let me just pause this real quick and get the part that I need to power that on. So now I think it's probably still on pause. Actually, let me get the screen coming back up real quick. So one sec. There it goes. Okay, had a little problem on the display trying to get to this back. So there we are. We have the screen replacement. It is back to normal. Everything is good, and it is working. 
and the mouse is still moving. I'm going to type in and see if I, anything works. I'm going to go ahead and just click this. Now I'm going to pretend I'm typing so the keyboard still works good. And everything came out working perfectly. And you should be perfectly fine on this. So we replace the screen on this laptop with no problems at all. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And if you want to help us out, um, I'll go ahead and give you the links where you can, can purchase this screen replacement. Or if you're looking for a specific screen, I can give you some awesome cool sites for it like that. And again, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.